Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year to you all. If you guys are watching my channel, we moved to Portland in Oregon and we are renting a place in this uh, city. And since we moved, I'm, I wanna make some changes in the place, but I don't wanna make holes in the wall. And you know, when you're renting the place, you, don't, you cannot make a lot of changes. But what bothers me here is my electrical box behind my door in our entryway. And the other thing that bothers me is that I don't have a key rack to hang my keys. So in this video, I'm going to share how I covered my electrical box and how I made my own key rack by using things from Dollar Tree on Walmart. And if you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay, let's begin to my key rack project here. Um, I used this barn wood from Walmart and I believe it was two, about $2. And I used this, I believe they're cup hooks. Yes, they are cup hooks from Walmart too. They're about a dollar or a little bit over a dollar. And I also use this letters E for my name and M for my husband and I'm also using nautical rope from Dollar Tree. First I decided where our initials will be on the barn wood and then I wanted to add N sign between our initials but my Walmart didn't have any so I decided to use this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Before I glued everything, I gave ensign chip for my nautical rope. I used some Dollar Tree tape so the shape doesn't get loose before I glued it on the board. And I'm going to remove those tape later. I used my hot glue gun to stick our initials and my nautical ensign on the board you need to work fast with hot glue and I gently press my each letter on the board and then I removed the tape I used earlier for the sign I used hot glue instead of tape before I glued it on the board So far I'm happy how it looks. For the next part, I got help from my husband. Before I inserted the hooks, I needed to drill holes for them and I didn't want to crack the wood because it was so thin. After the holes are made, I gently screw the holes inside them. had this wall art at home it says on it home sweet home I uh, got this from Macy's and it was in a clearance rack it shows here $32 but I only paid $7 for this and I'm going to cover my electrical box with this picture frame Since our electrical box extends out from wall, so does my wall art. So I needed to give depth for my key rack to match with it. I already had the styrofoam at home. So I just hot glued it on the back of my key rack. Like I mentioned earlier, we are renting our apartment, so I didn't want to drill any holes on the wall, so I used these command hooks. After you put command hooks on the wall, you need to wait minimum for an hour before you hang anything on them. Here 
here is the before and after. I have been using it for a few days and I'm loving it. No more keys in the kitchen. So let me know what you think about it. And if you ever try this DIY key rack at home, please comment down below. Thank you for watching my video and if you like it, please don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So see you next time!